Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here, back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, all my settings for Season 10 for sensitivity, but also all the settings for multiplayer and Battle Royale. Because we have some new settings, guys. And I think it's pretty important we take a look into it today. So uh, I didn't do a sensitivity settings in a long, long time, like probably almost a year now. But I never changed my sensitivity settings, but I did change some other stuff very recently, like last season. And also they just added something recently because I just noticed today. So let's go into it, guys. And once again, before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily COD Mobile videos. So let's start with the standard stuff for the controls. For both multiplayer and BR, I use custom and custom. So I do hit fire on pretty much everything except the sniper rifles because I like the thing where you click and release for sniper rifles. And for the marksmen, the same thing. So I do that for Battle Royale and multiplayer is the same. Snipers and marksmen uh, for quick scoping. I know it's personal preference, but I do that. So uh, yeah, I like to have control. I like to be able to hip fire. But with the snipers, I just never hip fire. But sometimes at close range, I kind of miss it a little bit. I would like to do it. I just never got to get into it. And maybe in the future, I will change that, guys. It's just I don't play that much with snipers right now, so I'll keep it for later. Now for the basic stuff, there's nothing new for me here. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is the fast throw grenade that is off for me because I use the frag grenades a lot. I know if you guys don't use frags, you can just throw grenades by just clicking the button. It's just going to throw. But the thing with frag grenades is if you click and hold, you're going to keep the nade in your hand and you can wait and wait and wait and just throw it at the exact time you want it to explode when it reaches your target. So um, it's really personal, but I got used to that like years ago with old Call of Duty games on consoles. I like to cook grenades, it's really good, and it's good to have the option to do it. Now another thing uh, about aim assist, some guys use it, some guys don't. It's not a big deal, it can be a problem sometimes where um, targets are really really close and you want to shoot the other one in the back but your aim assist is going to go to the front one so it can be annoying a little bit you might be better to get used not using it but most players I think use it even the pro players so no big deal and no shame uh, using aim assist it's a mobile game and even on consoles like people have aim assist they don't even know it so no big deal now one thing I changed recently also is fixed joystick. Uh, it's now off, but the display position is on. If the display position is off, the whole left side, if you move, it's gonna move. And when I was shooting from my, my button is on the left side, if I was moving my finger while shooting, it would also move. Uh, it was really, really annoying. So I think this is the perfect setting for me. You guys should try that. Uh, especially if you're on tablet like you have a lot of space on your screen and I think it's the way to go now tap and hold to ADS that's also something I changed like two weeks ago and it's gonna make a huge difference in the long run it took me like a day or two to get used to it I used to have tap to ADS so as soon as I tap the aim button it was gonna aim down sight and it was gonna stay like that but now I use that so I never get stuck in ADS anymore the thing with that is you click, but then if you want to run away and you forget to unclick or click again, well, you get stuck like that and you die because of that sometimes. So I guess this is going to take a little, bo a little bit more to get used to, but in the long run, I think it's the best and you should start now and later you will thank me, I think. Now that's also something I changed recently, always sprinting now. I don't care, I know some guys don't use it. Thing is, I just realized there's never a situation where I don't really want to sprint, so no big deal for real. But yeah, let me know <laughs> if you think it is not the way to go, but I, I really don't have a problem with that. And uh, FOV, field of view, uh, 65, it's always the same. Uh, it's been the same forever. Now in BR, pretty much the same, 65, the FOV. Uh, quick run from prone is on, but it's off when I wanted to play zombies, but that doesn't affect zombies. Uh, you don't want to run from prone and zombies. 
auto loot is on auto open door auto pretty much everything i mean i'm lazy maybe you can call me lazy i don't care now here's the thing at the bottom that is new i don't know exactly when they added that but when i went to my settings it was all invisible last season there was a button to hide your vest but now you can hide your vest and everyone else's vest also or you can put it to others per uh, others players vest visible you should go there and change it right now i think it's really important to know if your opponent has a vest or not um especially when you're gonna take a fight because if it's invisible you don't have all the information so is it someone that just landed and has no vest you can be more aggressive but if it's someone that's fully stacked with a level 3 vest you need to know that it's important now all visible would be okay also but i like to if you play in third person it's cool to see your character skin so it's just personal preference but don't don't click the left one guys it has to be the middle or the right one seriously uh go there and change it right now guys now audio i guess it depends on your device but definitely max frame rate if you can and the higher the graphics you can handle it's just more fun to see all the details but it's not necessary and if you want better performance if you don't have a high-end device you should go low graphics and max uh, frame rate as high as possible the frame rate definitely but the graphics it just depends on your device i use realistic uh, graphics but it's all personal preference i guess now sensitivity guys it really depends on a lot of stuff and this is not something you want to start messing around with you don't want to change your sensitivity all the time and Hawksness made a great video like a year ago on sensitivity and it depends it's personal it depends on your screen size and the size of your fingers also so if you copy and paste my settings it, it's working for me but it might not be working great for you still you can screenshot if you want it's the same for br and multiplayer like 65 85 110 65 180 40 40 but seriously and it's the same in br it is personal and and hawksness explained really well is when you move your brain is gonna like you know muscle memory they call it uh, you don't think all the time of how much you have to to move to do what you want to do and the more you play the more you get used to it all right so if you start changing it it's gonna be a problem but you have to get it right first and then get used to it so the way he explained it is when you play the game and you do a big swipe your soldier has to do 180 degrees so you can look at a wall do a big swipe and then be back to the wall and then do a big swipe again and be facing the wall again and get used to it if it's too much if it's not enough you tweak it but then again once you have a good setting you stop changing it and play every day for for weeks and get used to your settings all right the thing we can talk about here is maybe the fixed speed some guys like fixed some guys like speed acceleration um what i think is speed acceleration is a little bit inconsistent in my opinion because if you move a little bit faster than usual it's gonna do something completely different so i like fixed speed and get used to the fixed speed and it's all good for me i always been playing like that since the start about a year ago now the rest once again is personal preference the vehicle i use layout c i started using it like a long time ago but i remember i was using that one at the start layout a i changed uh, about six months ago i think and i got used to that one and i actually really like it uh semi follow vehicle hp uh, all on and the rest there's nothing to say seriously it's just quick messages but guys uh, there's a few things i wanted to talk about and definitely uh important to me that you guys go and check out your vest settings right now don't forget it's gonna make a difference in br and i guess get used to sensitivity get it right the first time and then stop playing with it don't change it for no reason and that's it for today's video so guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed I mean, people ask for my sensitivity uh, quite often and also all my settings. So you have it now. Hope you enjoyed. Smash like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for daily cut mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.